Did you guys know that the cube root for 2744 is 14, the cube root for 6859 is 19, and the cube root for 9261 is 21? If you guys are wondering how I did that, well don't worry, I will show you in this video. Welcome to another video, if this is your first time here and you want to learn more fast math tricks, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. So before we have a look at the questions, let's start by having a look at this table we have right here. In this table, we know that if the question ends in 2, then our answer will end in 8. And this is the same the other way around. If the question ends in 8, the answer will end in 2. So what about 3 and 7 then? If the question is in 3, the answer will end in 7. It's the same the other way around. So, if the question ends in 7, our answer will end in 3. Now, you may ask, what about the numbers other than 2, 8, 3 and 7? The other numbers basically end with the same number. So, what do we mean by that? If the question ends in 4, our answer will also end in 4. Or, if the question ends in 6, our answer will also end in 6. So let's have a look at this example we have to get a better understanding. This example is cube root of 2744. So now, let's start by having a look at the last digit, which is none other than 4. And what we are going to do is that we know that this 4 goes in this category. Other numbers end with the same number. Because this question ends with 4, our answer will also end with 4. The next thing we're going to do, cross out the last three numbers, which are 7, 4, 4. So now we're left with 2. What we are going to do with this 2 is that we're going to find where this 2 fits in terms of the list of cube numbers we have. And as we all know, this 2 fits in between the 1 and the 8. So it fits in between 1 cube and 2 cube. Next thing we have to do, we have to find which one is smaller, 1 cube or 2 cube. As we all know, 1 cube is much smaller than 2 cube. So therefore, our answer will start with 1. So this means our answer is 14 to this question. Don't worry if you don't understand this yet. By the time we go through the next examples, you guys will get it by then. So let's have a look at the next one, which is cube root of 6859. Let's start with the last digit, which is obviously 9. And as we all know, 9 goes in this category. Other numbers end with the same number. Because the question ends in 9, our answer will also end in 9. Next thing, cross out the last three numbers, 8, 5 and 9. Once you cross out the last three digits, you have a look at the number we're left with, which is 6. We're going to see where this 6 fits in in terms of the cube numbers. Well, the 6 fits in right here, between the 1 and the 8, between 1 cube and 2 cube. Now we have to find which one is smaller, 1 cube or 2 cube. As we saw before, 1 cube is smaller than 2 cube, so that means our answer starts with a 1. So therefore, our answer to this question is 19. So now let's have a look at another example, which is cube root of 9261. So with this, let's start with having a look at the last digit, which is obviously 1. So now we know that this 1 is obviously going to be in this category. Other numbers end with the same number. So that means our answer will also end with a1. Next thing, cross out the last three digits, so 2, 6, 1, cross them out. We're left with a 9. Let's see where this 9 fits in, in terms of the cube numbers. It fits in between the 8 and the 27, so right here, between the 2 cube and 3 cube. So which one is smaller, 2 cube or 3 cube? As we all know, 2 cube is smaller. So this means our answer will start with a 2. So therefore, our answer to this question is 21. Now let's have a look at finding the cube root of five digit numbers. So let's have a look at our first example, which is cube root of 21952. So once again, we're going to have a look at the last digit, which is 2. And as we know, this 2 is always going to end in 8. Because according to this table, if the question ends in a 2, our answer will end in an 8. So that means because we have a 2 at the end of a question, our answer will also end in an 8. Next thing we're going to do, cross out the last three digits. So cross out 9, 5, 2. So now we're left with 21. Let's see where this 21 
fit in terms of the cube numbers. The 21 is right in between the 2 cube and 3 cube, so between 8 and 27. So it's basically between 2 cube and 3 cube, which one is smaller, 2 or 3. As we all know, 2 cube is smaller. So that means our answer starts with 2. So we now have 28. So let's move to the next one, which is cube root of 79507. Once again, have a look at the last digit, which is 7. So we know that for this 7, because the question is in 7, our answer will end in 3. So that means our answer will end with a 3. Next thing, cross out the last three digits, 507. Now, with this 507, we have crossed it out. Now we're left with 7, 9, 79. So now, where does this 79 fit in terms of the cube numbers? It fits between here, between 64 and 125. So between 4 cube and 5 cube. Now, which one is smaller, 4 cube or 5 cube? As we all know, 4 cube is smaller, which means our answer will start with a 4. So now we have 43 as our answer. Let's move to the next one, which is cube root of 91125. So once again, let's have a look at the last digit, which is 5. We're left with 91. Where does this 91 fit in terms of the cube numbers? It fits between 4 cube and 5 cube, between 64 and 25. So next thing, which one is smaller, 4 cube or 5 cube? As we saw before, 4 cube is smaller, so therefore our answer will start with 4. So this means our answer to this question is 45. So in the previous examples, we had a look at how to cube root numbers with four digits and five digits. Now let's move to six digits. And let's start with our first example, which is cube root of 103823. So let's start with the last digit. Last digit in this case is obviously three. And we know that the three fits into this category. So if the question ends in three, our answer will end in seven. So because of that, because our question ends in three, our answer will and then 7. The next thing, we're going to cross out the last three numbers, 823 crossed out. Left it, 103. Where does this 103 fit in terms of the cube numbers? Fits between, right here, 64 and 25. Between 4 cube and 5 cube. Which one is smaller? 4 cube or 5 cube? As we all know, 4 cube is smaller. So that means our answer to this question will be 47. So that's our first one done. Let's move to the next one, which is cube root of 438976. So with this, let's have a look at the last digit, which is 6. And we know that the 6 moves into other number with the same number category. Because our question ends with 6, our answer will also end with 6. As we all know, the next step is to cross out the last three digits, 976 crossed out. We're left with 438. Now, with the 438, so where does this 438? fit in terms of the cube numbers, it fits between, right here, fits between the 343 3 and 512, between 7 cube and 8 cube. Which one is smaller? We all know 7 cube is smaller than 8 cube. So therefore, our answer to this question will be 76. Let's move to our final example, which is cube root of 778688. So with this example, let's take the last digit, which is obviously 8. We know that the 8 will fit into this category. So if the question ends in 8, the answer will end in 2. Because the question ends in 8 in this case, our answer will end in 2. As usual, cross out the last three digits, so cross out the 688. We're left with 778. So now, where does the 778 fit? In terms of the cube numbers, it fits right here, between 9 cube and 10 cube between 79 and 1000. So which one is smaller, 10 cube or 9 cube? As we all know, 9 cube is smaller than 10 cube, so therefore our answer will start with 9, and that means our answer to this question is 92. Now to learn more on math tricks, click the video on the right, and to learn the previous trick, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.